This week is going to be a bit of a quiet one, if I'm honest. Storm Kiara and Storm Dennis have played Havoc on Progress up here at the allotment. So this video is going to have a bit of a show and tell vibe to it. Everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in. So I'm Tim here at My Carbon Coach. So first things first, I really hope that all of your plants, your plots and your structures weathered the storm okay. The UK really just had a battering. I guess I'm lucky with not having anything in the ground yet, but I really do sympathise with those of you whose plots flooded or had greenhouse windows smashed in, things like that. It was Valentine's Day last week and we went out for a lovely little meal at a local place. It was uh, called The Little Wine Shop and so we had some wine and some charcuterie, which is pretty exciting. And my wife bought me this awesome gift uh, for Valentine's Day and I've got some proper gardening gloves now and some badass secateurs. So these are a definite upgrade on my pound stretcher jobbies. A while ago, she also got me this book, The Allotment Pocket Bible. And it has been such a good informative read. It walks you through step by step from getting choosing the right allotment through to how to grow pretty much anything really. I'm going to be keeping it in the shed for reference from now on and I reckon it's a great pickup both for newbies like me and experienced growers too and I'll put a link to get your copy down in the description. There's also a link down there for Derek the Drone who made his first appearance in last week's video just in case you're interested in the kind of kit that I use for these video making. So we couldn't really go two weeks without any digging and I've pretty much finished off the whole area in front of the shed. share with you what I've brought so far to try and spruce it up a bit. I'm going to edge the path with these wooden bits I picked up at Wilco's, £4 each which is a steal, but they look a bit drab so I've got myself some paint too, cornflower blue and an off-white. I'm going for a nautical feel here and if this weekend is okay weather I'll get this all painted and put in. I also grabbed a big bag of wood chip for the actual path. I will need a lot more, but it's a start. I got some weed membrane too to help keep it tidy. So I'm really excited about that. And while I was in Wilco's, I picked up some seeds. Because the herb beds are next on my very long list of jobs to tackle, I grabbed four packets of herbs and some bergamot. So yeah, packet of bergamot and some oregano, some rosemary and some sage and then some thyme as well. So I can get these started soon and by the time that they're ready hopefully the beds will be ready too. I got a few decorative bits too, some sweet peas and some sunflowers to add some much needed colour into all of this green and brown. I don't know what I'll do with this yet but I picked it up a little while ago from Pound Stretcher because it matched the nautical theme. Please feel free to recommend any flowers that might grow in such a shallow container down in the comments, that would be greatly appreciated. That just about wraps it up for today, so it's been quite sedate and uneventful. If you'd like to tap the subscribe button, ring the bell and give the video a thumbs up, those are ways that really help out the channel grow a lot. I just hit 150 subscribers, so thank you very very much. I've absolutely loved getting to know you all down in the comments section or over on my social media. So until next time, take care of yourself, take care of your plots and have an absolutely awesome week. See you soon.